Are you looking for information about the Series 7 exam? Then this video is for you. Hi, my name is Susie Rhodes with Pass Masters. I have over 20 years of experience in teaching people just like you how to pass this exam. So what is the Series 7? Series 7 is an examination that is written by FINRA. It allows a person to register as a general securities representative. We commonly call them stockbrokers. Who can take the Series 7 exam? You must be associated with a broker-dealer who sponsors you to take this exam. Additionally, you must be age 18 or older. Does the Series 7 have a co-requisite exam? Yes, the co-requisite for your Series 7 is the SIE exam. If you pass your Series 7, but you don't have an SIE, you will not be able to sell any products. What products does the SIE and Series 7 allow you to sell? Lots, all securities products. That's why we call it a general securities representative license. So what can you sell? Corporate securities, municipal fund securities, options, direct participation programs, investment company products, and variable products. You can participate in public offerings and or private placements of corporate securities, including both stocks and bonds. You can sell rights, warrants, mutual funds, money market funds, unit investment trusts, exchange traded funds, real estate investment trusts, options on mortgage backed securities, government securities, repos and certificates of accrual on government securities, direct participation programs, venture capital, sale of municipal securities, as well as hedge funds. When you have your SIE in series seven, you can sell all of the securities products that are out there. Some details about the series seven exam. There is 125 questions. It is a multiple choice exam. They will give you three hours and 45 minutes to complete the exam. Passing score is a 72%. The cost to take this exam is $300. What's on the Series 7 exam? The FINRA outline breaks down the information into four sections. So your score report will include these four sections. On the actual test, all of the questions are all mixed up together. Section one is seeks business for the broker dealer. It is nine questions. Section two opens accounts, 11 questions. Section three, that's where all the product knowledge questions are going to be found. It's entitled provides customers with information. It is 91 questions. Section four obtains and verifies instructions is 14 questions for a total of 125 questions that count. The test will have 10 pre-test questions. Those don't count. So know if you see a question, you have no idea, give it your best guess. Don't let it upset your flow. It probably doesn't count. So all of the questions mixed up together. You never know which ones are pre-test. So give it your best shot. How to prepare to pass the Series 7 exam? Well, that's where Pass Masters comes in. Let me give you a peek at our learning management system. I've taken FINRA's Series 7 content outline and I've broken each section down into manageable topics. Within each topic, you have three components. First, you'll have a PDF to read. Once you've read the PDF, there is a video to watch. Welcome to Communications. Let's get started. I'm your instructor. So you can watch me at any time that is convenient for you. You have the option to read. There's always closed captioning. You can slow me down or speed me up. After you watch the video, there is a topic quiz to test your knowledge. Within our questions, every question has a rationale. 
as well as an audio explanation. Leonard is a customer of... We do this to appeal to all of the various learning styles that are out there. Once you complete the topics within a section, you have a section review. The section review has two components. First, there is a key facts video. FINRA rules require that advertisements include information about... If I told you that the key facts were commonly tested topics, would you watch? Would you listen? Of course you would. Please watch. After the key facts, you will have a section exam. The section exam is properly weighted to mirror the number of questions you can expect on the actual Series 7 exam. So you have four sections, just like the content outline. Once you complete all four sections, you have a final exam. The final exam is 125 properly weighted questions for you to practice. You may be wondering why choose Passmasters? We are a family run business. We have many years of experience in training people just like you to pass this exam. I love helping my students. So you have me. I hope to provide the information to you in a fun and memorable way. My students enjoy learning. I enjoy teaching. We have a partnership getting you through your exam on your very first attempt. Thank you so much for watching our Series 7 exam overview. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn your notifications on. We do produce a lot of content, so free things out there for you to practice in preparing for your securities exams. If you would like to check out our website or to enroll in one of our programs, there is a link found in this video's description. I hope to have you as a student soon. Happy studies. You got this.